Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships Live video series. Today we are going to discuss about the Singapore scholarships that are without eyelids, and this scholarship is from the Singapore Management University, and it's for the A S E A N Asian students, and it's not Asian, so it's Asian students. So you can check out these undergraduate scholarships for 2023 and 2024 session. There are also the master scholarships, and we will provide you these details in a while before that let me remind you to subscribe our youtube channel full scholarships and do follow us on instagram page as well the link for this singapore scholarship is given in the youtube video description check out the link there this scholarship is for undergraduate as well as masters and you can check out the link of all the scholarships the links are in the respective descriptions of each video and once you click on the apply link in the video description it will take you to our website here or you can visit directly our website fullscholarships.net or cashmillook.com and you can apply to these scholarships so you can check out the basic details that are on our website so the scholarship description is there and let's discuss about these scholarships and fill the application form so you can check singapore management university is currently giving the undergraduate scholarships to the asian students and you must be a, a, a resident of any of the asian country and should have the good academic record and demonstrate the leadership abilities and you must communicate effectively so now they will provide you the scholarship to maximize your uh, efficiencies and expand your career opportunities then you have the degree level that is the undergraduate scholarship at the moment that's at the singapore management university so you know that singapore is hub of the technology and all the starts up startups or the companies are there and you have a very high chances of having a part-time job as well as settling over there and you can also get a easy pr then you have the subjects that is the they prefer the business administration as well then scholarship benefits are also mentioned so it's a four year uh, yearly tuition expenses are covered and you have the singapore dollars of 5800 annual living allowances a one time computer grant of 1700 dollars and a 3000 annual housing allowance so almost tuition fee living allowances your computer charge and you can get the laptop as well as you can also get the housing allowances so almost all the features are covered and then the eligible nationalities and you must be an asian uh, member so brunei cambodia indonesia myanmar laos philippines uh, malaysia singapore thailand and vietnam are also the members of asian countries besides other nationalities are also falling in this so those countries listed here are eligible as well as all other countries then the eligibility criteria is mentioned so you should follow these and have an excellent character if you had any of uh, the violations in any of the academic careers so they will not accept you so they are very strict in this case rest their eligibility is very easy so going to this smu is also easy if you apply through our channels and you can also get the documents through our uh, team so we will write that for you so in order to start applying click on this apply button at the end here so click here to apply now upon clicking on that you can check that we have been redirected officially to the smu and this is the official singapore management university also of the admissions and financial assistance and you can check the admission requirements smu commitment to holistic admissions strong academics co-curricular involvements and the positive attitude then you have the intact intellectual curiosity critical thinking and the strong communication skills they will have also the different admission categories like aptitude based and the simple admissions and you have if you have the singapore uh, singapore and cambridge GAE levels you can also have the polytechnic diploma if you have international bachelor's degree or any of the qualifications so you can check also transfer students can apply so if you have any one semester or three or four semesters in one country you want to shift to other country you can also do that here so every option is available so they have one of the easiest curriculums to uh, study on and you can check all details here so now let me uh, go to the top of the admissions page so you can check at the end there is apply now so for new students who wish to apply so click on apply now 
those who have already applied and have received an offer letter so they need to click on this accept offer and right now we have no acceptances so we need to apply one so click on this apply now button here at the top click on this red apply button upon clicking on that you can check the undergraduate admissions official page is there and for the first time users you need to click on this register new account here once you click on that you can check undergraduate register new account details are there so starting with this so you have to select that i am not from the european nation and you should not be from any of these countries listed here so you can apply from these countries as well but scholarships are not applicable to these as they might vary or the grants will be with less as compared to a non-asian and then you have the username so select your name or any of the details then enter your email address re-enter the email address create a password here re-enter the password then tick this that i had continued i have agreed to terms and conditions and click on the continue once you click on that remember this username and remember this password then come back to this login page use the same email or the username and the same password then simply click on the login button so let's wait for a few seconds so that we get to the dashboard so let me log in so in few seconds it will take us to the dashboard so let me refresh the page once now let's click on the login button and wait for this page to load so here is a for the first time users you have to uh, enter all the personal details so personal details like pref prefix of the name full name your uh, surname your gender your date of birth birth country ethnic group martial states religious preferences uh, citizenship status and you have the passport numbers email address and re-enter the email address then click on the save and click on the next here so upon clicking on the next you have the contact details so select the home address suppose i had this should be as per the passport and if you have a dual citizenship do mention that and do prefer to not uh, applying through the uh, non-asian uh, passport so do remember that now select the country of the home address your postal code your full address and your city then this is if this is the same mailing address as your home so you can select that then phone numbers and the mobile numbers so you can submit all the details So let me fill this. Okay, after that, you have the parents' details that is your contact name of the parent, right? Relationship, it's already by default the father, so enter the, his name, and you should mention all the names as per their passports if they had. and tick if they are not available then the contact number of the parent and then the type of the parent that you are selecting here so you have to mention that like his home phone number or mobile number so or office number so you can submit that as well and the company he is working or and the email address he has so after that and the contact details of my mother's uh, your mother and then the emergency contact if you wish to do it for else uh, than the father and mother so if you want to add other person you can add that and then click on the save and move to the next tab that's the qualifications and so let me just submit this and click on save so now it's saved click on the qualifications now in the qualifications tab you have to enter the qualification so application category if you have international uh, diploma you can submit that if you have international qualifications you can submit if you have polytechnic diploma you can submit that any details that you have actually just select that from the list then submit that details of the international qualification like if you had your, your uh, high school from international so like if you're applying for the bachelor so you need if you had already bachelor's you can again apply for bachelor's if you had no bachelors at all so you can just submit your high school details like your previous school your or the 12th standard details or your uh intermediate details or the 
any associate degree details or diploma details just submit that information here school name location name and the month or uh, month of the uh, graduation or the year of the graduation or the expected date of the graduation and the subjects that you had the core subjects and the grades of that subject after you do that click on the save and move to the next that is the test results so if you had any of the sat act eyelid stoful c1 advanced pte any of the tests you had just submit that it's not mandatory it's there is no star at each so if you had your degrees in the english so you can check test score it's optional work experience is also optional so eyelids is not required at all so no eyelids no toefl is required for this singapore scholarship it's absolutely optional if you have you will be given a preference over others who do not have the eyelids or toefl so you can check work experience if you are a applying for the undergraduate so it's obvious that you had just passed the high school so there is no obviously the work experience but in some cases if you had you can submit that if you had the internship details you can submit that as well after clicking on the next tab that's the achievements just submit your achievements if you had any co curricular activities national award sport award just submit that as well and the then you, this is the very critical part of this application so this is the personal statement so if you want us to write your personal statement do order from our website here is the link let me show you the link so on the right hand side of the tabs there is the online shop link or online global order so click on this shop link and do uh, just order from our website and after you order that we will write it as per the details asked so you can check maximum 300 words so you can ask us 300 words so we will write that and then select the if you have any of the uh, uh, the talents or the interest you can submit that and then click on the save information and move to the next tabs that is the quick takes so this is the very important question so what would you say is the greatest talent you or skill you have so this is a very important question then then is the next question what you have done to make your school or community better place and if you need answers for these questions as well we will write that for you and we know how to write that after you do uh, submit that details click on the supplementary information and have you ever studied in a university before so if you had studied in like if you had done diploma that is in the college but not in university so obviously no if you are in the school so then no as well then your financial uh, background so if you had the salary of family income so mention that and it should fall in any of these this is not a mandatory detail but you have to submit that as it is required here so then supplementary questions just answer these yes and no accordingly have you beat any have you committed any of the crimes or have you been suspended from any institution so these are the basic information just submit yes and no accordingly as per the information that you had and then how did you go know about this scholarship so if you had just uh, submit others so do tick the others here and then uh have you attended this sme open house so no we had not then select no do you have any social needs so like disabilities you had any so if you had just submit yes and no accordingly after that click on the save information and move to the next tab that's the program financial aid and scholarships this is the very important tab of this course so right now we were filling the information for the admission now we had the information for the admission as well as this scholarship so now there is a program link and then do you wish to apply for a double degree so if yes and no accordingly so no so select the first choice so you can check bachelor of science software engineering economics computer science all subjects are there suppose i will go with this uh, business management or the this business and i will select that then second preference you can choose that and then additional scholarship so do you wish to go for the medical uh, medicine pathway and if you wish so you can select yes and no these are the optional now this is the very important question financial aid question so do you intend to apply for a financial aid to support your studies in SN, smu so select yes and then scholarships are you interested in applying for a scholarship so do select yes as well and now here are the scholarship list so first choice select the scholarship from the smu international scholarship or the asian undergraduate scholarship so select this then in the second preference select smu international scholarship in the third preference uh, select the other scholarships that are available in your country as well as that you are familiar with so just submit that like i will go with the indian scholarship as well so and you can select up to the five or uh, you can check five scholarships are there so now scholarship referees so you had to enter the academic references so if you need a reference letter so you can ask us that so you can check 
scholarship personal essay is also there so you have to answer the essay here if you want us to write your essay as an impact on the global impact of the scholarship on your academic career related with these answers so we will write that for you you have to order from our website or you can mail us or message us or comment down below video and for this you have to you need an academic referee so just submit your previous professor details and email address and then contact your professor and he will receive an email he had to respond to that email and fill a form about yourself they will be asked some questions about so they have to tick and answer that questions and that's it after that you have the tuition grants here so now do you wish to apply for a tuition grant so yes obviously it's like yes i am and so it select yes I am a resident, resident or international student and I wish to apply for a tuition grant so select yes so like have you previously applied for and received any grant so no I had not have you previously any of the, these questions so just select yes and no if you had received and then click on the save so these two are for scholarships and rest application form is for the admission after that you have the declaration part so go to that so select yes I am from the non-EU I agree to the terms and conditions and now here is a submit button hit that submit button and your application will be submitted so you can check you must verify uh, you have a verification error in this form so click ok so what is the verification form error so you can check these are in the red and these are in the green so those in the green are complete so you should cross check that and all those on the red so you should make them green and fill the information i hope this session was helpful for you so we showed you full details about undergraduate admission as well as scholarship in the singapore i hope there is no doubt left if still you have doubt if you need any of the documents or motivation essay person essay question answers just message us on instagram or order from our website fullscholarships.net or cashmilook.com and links are in the video description check out the link there click on the apply link in the video description it will take you to our website here or directly visit our website fullscholarships.net and before doing that anything just subscribe to our youtube channel and keep watching our videos see you tomorrow